Hey everyone, so this video is just about a basic introduction into different types of plugins and a few of the things that come with Pro Tools out of the box. Okay, so there are two main categories of plugin. Now one is called real-time processing plugins and there's kind of two different kinds that you see. So real-time means that it's actually doing some work to adjust the sound as you play it back. So we saw this compressor as we play that. Tonight comes and I want to run away a million miles. So you, can, so you can see that this guy's reacting to the audio as it plays back and adjusting some of the sound, in this case, compressing a little bit. So we have two versions of these real-time processing plugins. One set is called native, which means that the processor inside your computer and the memory inside your computer is doing that work while you're playing back, right? So the, it's using system resources in order to do the processing that needs to happen, right? So whether that be a reverb or a compressor or an EQ or whatever it is, the system's doing the heavy lifting for you. And the other kind is called DSP, which is digital signal processing. So digital signal processing really just means that you have an interface or something else external to the computer that's doing some of the work. So especially for things like reverbs that take a lot of system processing power, uh, it's nice to have something that will do some of the work for you. So the idea between DSP is that you have a processor somewhere outside of your system that's plugged in, like in your interface or in some sort of card that does some extra processing for you to help your computer do all that processing at the same time. So that's DSP. So native is inside the computer typically, and then DSP is extra processing power that's part of your interface or part of some other hardware that's being used to help process uh, some of that signal because often the real-time plugins are are the things that are causing crashes So if your system is continually running out of resources It's most likely because you have a lot of native plugins running in real time that are sucking up your system resources So DSP can help with that. The other kind is file-based non real-time processing so almost all and maybe even a few extra uh, plugins are available as file-based uh, processing. And what you do is you basically bring up uh, a certain audio file and a certain audio suite plugin, and you turn it on, and you have it do its thing, you hit render, and it basically changes the actual file on disk. And that change is done. So there's no turning it off or adjusting or any of those things. Instead, it's just processed the audio and that's now fixed and it's done, right? So Audio Suite is about doing often little spot check kinds of things of processing or in certain places where you know exactly what you want the processing to do. And then once it's done, you're okay with not being able to undo it later on. So processing that's done in one sweep and then it's finished. In this video, we're gonna focus on real-time plugins. So let's have a look at a few of the ones that are available just inside of Pro Tools out of the box. Just to look at them real quick, I'm clicking on the insert and I'm clicking on EQ and most of these don't actually work. A lot of these UAD ones don't work at all because I haven't licensed them. But the Pro Tools ones are EQ3 and there's a one band version and a seven band version. So one band and seven band. Seven band gives you more options, right? So this is an EQ. So this allows you to adjust the signal that's coming through. So on this guitar track, we can up the mids or take them away or add high end. Right, make it sound like it's coming through a telephone or something. Right, play with the bass. So, seven band EQ and a one band EQ. We also have Dynamics that's built in. Okay, so the main ones are the three DYN Dynamics 3 
So there's three different plugins that deal with dynamics. So one is a compressor and limiter. One is a de -esser to help deal with those harsh sibilants that come across in vocal tracks and voiceovers. And then another is the expander gate, which is primarily a gate, especially is for uh, getting rid of kind of noisy guitar track sounds during quiet sections. So, you know, when the guitar player isn't playing, sometimes you get that kind of sound, the gate can help get rid of those things. And then we have one that's like a combo plugin that kind of does all these things at once. So you can click EQ or dynamics, you'll see it in both places and then channel strip. So what the channel strip has is a mixture of EQ, a filter, dynamics, like compressor and limiter. And then you can see a graph of the EQ here and you will see the gain up here for the compressor and limiter gate stuff. So the channel strip is kind of your all in one. Okay, you can also get uh, the manual for all these built-in plugins that Pro Tools has available from the help menu. So you can click on help and then audio plugins guide and that will give you this guy and you can go through all the plugins that are available and all the settings and all that good stuff. So there are a lot of different plugins available and explanations on how to use pretty much everything in there. There's our seven band EQ right there. So pretty good manual here and it's right there built in. You just go to help and it should already be there. Audio plugins guide. Cool. So uh, it takes a long time to get used to these things, but if you just stick to those basic four or five at first, that's a great way to start. They're all built to work well with Pro Tools and they all sound pretty good.